Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will briefly show you how to install and set up RetroArch on your One X Player 1S. It is very easy to do and you can be up and retro gaming in just a few minutes. First you will need to download the RetroArch software. Open your browser and go to retroarch.com. Choose this and scroll down a little. You will see an option to download Nightly, which is the very latest version, but may have some bugs. Or you could download Stable, which can be a slightly older version, but should have no bugs. We recommend downloading the Stable version. Once RetroArch has downloaded, click on the download to start the install. Follow the prompts to proceed to install. You can optionally install DirectX if you already have it installed. Once the software is installed, you can go ahead with setting up your ROM folders. Make a new folder called ROMs and enter into it. Next, create a new folder for the system your ROMs are for. In this example, we are using Genesis games. You can now copy your Genesis games to that folder. Repeat the process for any other systems and games you may have. When you are ready, you can load the RetroArch software. You can use the controls to navigate the menus. Firstly, you can make the window full screen by going to Settings, then Video, and then Full Screen Mode. Then select Start in Full Screen Mode and change it to On. The software will restart and now be in full screen. Next, we want to install the emulators, which are known as Cores in RetroArch. Choose Main Menu, then Online Updater, then Core Downloader. This will give you a list of all the supported gaming systems and cores available to download. Navigate the list to your system. In this example, we are downloading Sega Genesis. There may be multiple cores available for your system. Pick one and give it a try. You can always download and try another later on. Download any cores that you need for the systems you have games for. Next, we need to add your games to the software so that you can access them without using any front ends. From the main menu, scroll down to Import Content, then Scan Directory. This will bring up a list of your drives and folders. Navigate to your ROMs folder created earlier, then choose the Scan This Directory option. It will now proceed to scan the folders for recognised games and add them. Depending on how many games you have, this may take a few seconds to far longer. Once it has completed, return back to the main menu. Scroll down the menu and below Explore, you will now see any new systems that were found in the scan. Choose a system and it will now show any games it also found. Choose a game and it will display a new menu. Choose Run and then it will display a list of available cores which can run the game. Choose any core and then run to start the game. To exit out of RetroArch back to the desktop, you press the escape key twice. Or if you want to go into the RetroArch menus, press F1. From here, you can access various functions such as save and loading states, take screenshots and much more. Now sit back, relax and enjoy some retro gaming. We hope you have found this video useful in getting started with RetroArch on your 1X Player 1S. 
keep up to date with new videos by subscribing and don't forget to like if you have not already. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.